All right. So that concludes my last stream on Twitch for 2021. And uh, it's been interesting. You know, I've been streaming on a platform for a couple of years. Uh, at first, it was a hobby. And then once I saw where the industry was going and what you could potentially do with it and potentially become, I decided to join it myself, which is why I've been streaming for roughly uh, two and a half, three years, probably three years by now. And, um, you know, I'm not, I haven't really gone anywhere and I stream often. I try to make as much content as I can try to utilize that content. And I haven't, I haven't really gone anywhere, you know, in the past two years, I've only managed to get 435 followers. My highest sub count was maybe 40 in the forties somewhere. I don't remember exactly where, but it's somewhere in the forties. And it's not to say that Twitch owes me something or owes me viewers because they don't. And I understand maybe my content isn't as good as I think it is. Or, you know, obviously there's always room for improvement and I'm always trying to improve. However, I think Twitch is not the best place for new creators because all of the top creators, all of the people that love analytics and, and all that fun stuff who like sit there and deep dive into becoming a content creator, they all say the same thing. And they say Twitch is not the answer. And it's, it's on, it's honestly not with the way Twitch is right now with the direct series system. Um, it's, it's there to support the Kingmakers and I understand it and it's, I'm not, you know, opposed to it, but it's not going to work for me. I can keep going on this. I can keep going on this trend of just streaming to the one or two loyal guys that I have, which I appreciate. I tell them that every day, but I want this to potentially become something. So why am I going to sit around on something that's not working? I'm going to change. That's part of me saying, or part of what I said before, where obviously there has to be improvements to be made when it comes to content. Most of my content that has gotten me real growth has been on YouTube. I mean, you can count TikTok, but honestly, TikTok hasn't got me too far because I haven't been able to figure that out. Some videos that I edit, I'll, if I edit three videos the same, the first one will do terrible. The second one will do okay. And then the third one will do terrible. And then I'll repost the first one and it gets a million views, which is exactly what happened, which is why I have 2,700 followers on TikTok. But then I'll keep trying to improve on that content and it doesn't get me anywhere. I'm just like, all right, you know what? I'm just going to focus on YouTube, YouTube and Twitch. Screw TikTok. You know, I, I know some people make it work for them and that's great. But for me, for whatever reason, it's not working. So I'm like, all right, fine. So I've been really focused on YouTube, especially YouTube shorts. I've been doing YouTube for at least two years now, um, or it's going to be two years in like April, May of 2022. It'll be two full years of just me putting out content on YouTube. Um, at first it was of course full length videos, you know, and they've only gotten me, you know, some subs, nothing too crazy. I had a couple videos that actually did really well. They got a couple thousands that I've got me a bunch of subs. I think I had roughly 150 subs um, at the start of 2021. With that being said, the reason why I'm switching to YouTube is because the discoverability. The discoverability on YouTube is there. I mean, it's, that's what they have been known to do or, you know, that searchable content lives on YouTube, not on Twitch. That's why I'm going because on Twitch this year, and I'll show you. These are my analytics for this year on Twitch. I've streamed a thousand, almost eleven hundred hours. Who cares about the revenue? My profile has had eighty five hundred views, eighty five hundred, which seems like a lot. I've gained two hundred and fifty followers this year, and I've managed to amass one hundred and sixty seven subscriptions throughout the year, with the highest sub count of like forty for over here somewhere. I don't even remember. I oh, know over here. I don't know whatever. Now, some of you think may think that's pretty good. To me, that's whatever. Maybe that's pretty good for somebody my size. I don't know. However, when I go to my YouTube analytics and look at my YouTube analytics this year, I have amassed three hundred and twenty-seven thousand views with almost six hundred subscribers in one year. Now that to me says a lot. That to me says I should probably focus on YouTube more and I can continue doing what I'm doing, stream on Twitch and then post all my content, excuse me, 
post all my content on YouTube, which is not a bad idea, except that why continue to do something that's not entirely going to work? You know, what if I stream on YouTube and I'm actually able to then break out a little bit and build a small community? It's possible, but I'll never know until I give it a shot, which is what I'm doing. I'm giving YouTube gaming, YouTube live streaming, whatever, a shot for six months. If I feel I hasn't made any difference, I might go back. But Fwiz, which is the head of YouTube gaming over on, you know, YouTube, on his Twitter, he has said numerous, you know, in his tweets and or maybe blog posts, whatever, that he has exciting plans for YouTube gaming. Um, this really has nothing to do with YouTube gaming signing exclusivity deals with Dr. Lupo and Tim the Tatman, although that does kind of sway me a little bit. I am fans of them, mostly of Tim. But at the same time, these numbers alone should just tell you I should probably just move. Give it a shot for six months. It's not going to hurt. I'm so small. I, I'm incredibly small. This isn't going to hurt me. I understand for some larger creators, even, even the creators that average 100 to 500 views on Twitch, you know, they'll be very nervous to switch because they don't want to leave their community. They did a lot of work building the community again. And I understand that. And I, I, I really do, because I see all sides of the argument. Some of them don't focus on YouTube that much. Some do. I know a lot of them don't like the user interface when it comes to live streaming on YouTube. I think that's like a minor fix. I don't think that's that much of a problem than it is, to be honest. Um, you know, people are just seeing that as a way to just, you know, not to complain, but, you know, to keep them where they're at, keep them in their nice safe zone. I'm willing to give it a shot. These are just my general thoughts and opinions. Um, of the two platforms this isn't obviously a right or wrong answer because you know what do i know you know i'm not the stream guy i'm trying to figure this out like everybody else you know i'm trying to make it out here of course i am a twitch affiliate and on youtube i'm not even partner yet to, you know it's gonna take quite a while to get to youtube partner i still have to get a lot more watch time hours and i still have to break a thousand subs a thousand subs i don't think will be too hard to reach within this year the watch time hours might be a little more difficult. Regardless, these analytics paint a huge story and I'm gonna try it. My first YouTube stream will definitely be within the first week of January. We're gonna keep continuing to grind out content and we're gonna post it on YouTube whether YouTube gaming works or not. Right now, it's gonna be all on one channel. Maybe sometime down the line, maybe I put it on two to three different channels depending on what I do. But for now, we're gonna put it all in one place and it's gonna be on this channel Ramos kid. If you so choose to support me, I highly appreciate it. You can hit the subscribe button. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you have a good rest of your day.